Ladies and gentlemen, a bunch of city people are fleeing California's communities around the city, and they are going into the deserts and mountains, hoping to escape CV. This came out in Los Angeles Times, March 22nd, 2020, just two weeks after Gina Grande landed her dream job in San Francisco. Authorities ordered residents to stay home in a desperate bid to slow the spreading of CV. Rumors of fistfights breaking out in grocery stores followed. Overnight, the world took a sharp turn into the twilight zone, Grande said. I had to get out of there. So I made a beeline to my boss's office and said, this is awkward, but can I please telecommute from Southern California? She hit the road that night and headed for a three-bedroom second home. She operates as a short-term rental on the outskirts of Joshua Tree. Along the way, a distressing advisory came over her cell phone. A client in Los Angeles had just auto-booked the place for three weeks. The text, a sincere apology about having to cancel their reservation, she said. As CV tightens <clears throat> its grip on California's largest city, some residents are fleeing urban sprawlings and seeking shelter in isolated communities in the Mojave Desert or the rugged Sierra Nevada. Their hopes, they said, is to avoid possible public unrest and limit their exposure to the virus. Well, who said that people in those desert towns and mountains don't have CV? Who said that? What if you run and ultimately you're in the same situation with people that got it? No guarantee that people in those communities don't have it. The new urban immigrants are not entirely welcomed. However, locals fear their new arrival could overwhelm the public health systems of small towns already struggling to cope with the growing crisis and public health officials worry the movement will lead to greater spread of the highly contagious virus. In Los Angeles, Mayor Eric Garcetti announced Thursday night that residents were forbidden from moving to or from vacation homes outside the city, along with a number of other health and safety restrictions aimed at fighting contagion. In Mammoth Lake, a small eastern Sierra town that survives primarily on skiing, Mammoth Mountain, the tourism board, this week told non-residents to keep out. The reason is simple. The board's website announced as a small remote mountain community or community facilities lack capacity to handle a widespread of CV. The migration appears to be driven by fear and the nation's sudden shift towards teleworking, which has afforded urban residents greater freedom to roam. Joshua Tree is a threadbare desert oasis roughly 130 miles east of Los Angeles, has been inundated. Ordinarily, many of the community 1,160 short-term rentals would be occupied by park goers and desert weekenders, but now they are being snapped up for weeks and months at a time. Some property managers say the first two questions asked by prospective clients, do you have anything available for several weeks or longer? Do you have internet access? We confirmed two rentals for long-term stayovers over three weeks. All right. In both cases, social distancing and the ability to work remotely was important.
the clients declined to comment. Um, one of the rentals was reserved by a couple. So they thought it was a good place for them. Um, you know, they didn't even have children, but they were looking to stay there for a long-term period of time. Brian Winwood, owner of Joshua Tree Modern Real Estate said, every call I get is related to CV. Some of them from city dwellers worried about being struck in, uh, worried about being stuck in the center of a metropolis that loses control of its basic public services. But some new arrivals are former residents scrambling to move back into second homes and home sharing rentals they own in towns, which had been generating extra cash by catering to 3 million people who visit Joshua Tree National Park each year. Wow. So they think if they go to the mountains or the deserts, they can be free of CV. I don't believe that. And I, I, and I see this. The more people flock into these towns, the greater the chances are of somebody coming there with it. That's what I see. It's raining around here. When he recently took two medical workers in San Francisco that had nothing to rent to them, they offered to pay him more than double the usual price. Wow. I've seen this kind of fear and desperation before in Israel during rocket attacks, he said. A friend recently asked if he had a gun he could borrow. I said, absolutely not. Wow. Wow, is that bad? A lot of these rentals are in remote areas that are prone to flooding and wildfires, he said and serviced by cash strap hospital ill equipped to handle a surge in population threatened by CV. Personally, he had it. If I got sick, I'd rather be in San Francisco or Los Angeles. In isolated Mammoth Lake, about 300 miles north of Los Angeles, officials are trying to halt a seasonal trend that normally sees the weekend population quadruple as skiers and snowboarders flock to Mammoth Mountain ski area. Now, with the ski area closed due to the pandemic, tourism officials are trying to discourage Airbnb customers and people from out of town who own home sharing rentals in the area from taking up long term residence until the threat subsides. They said medical care is a primary concern with only one ventilator and 17 emergency beds at the local hospital. Patients in dire condition are sometimes flown by helicopter to a hospital in Reno. Sam Roberts, a Monmouth Lake resident and president of the nonprofit Friends of the Inyo summed up the anxieties in the area this way. We, when driving up from Los Angeles, several travelers stop along the way for gasoline, for food, to stretch their legs. The trouble is they could be picking up the virus and bringing it into the town with them. Exactly. How do you know all these folks don't have it that's coming there? All right, so these people now got in their minds, they can go to remote area that's normally for tourism and vacation and stay there long-term. So I guess this is a new trend now, run to the mountains, run to the desert. If I go there, maybe I won't get it. I, I don't know what these people are thinking about. It doesn't matter where you go or where you try to hide out you are still open to getting CV. I don't see how they don't realize this, 
but I guess they will find out soon enough. So I guess this is the new trend that's going on. And, and I'm sure California is not the only place. We got Pocono areas and stuff around here in the Northeast and mountainous areas. And I guess they think they can just all flock there and be safe. And as I stated before, the more people that go, the greater the chance they're going to bring the virus right in these remote places. Y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.